Hello students, now that you've sort of worked your way through some of the start here menu options, I want to show you, or we would like to show you how to upload assignments in Blackboard. One of the most important things that you need to understand is that you cannot ass submit assignments via email to your eCollege instructor. We do not accept assignments via email. Um, first of all, email is not um, something that we can control. We don't know if the assignment has even reached your instructor. It may have fallen into a spam account. So there are all kinds of issues. Um, plus, it's not a secure. Email is not secure. So what you have to do in order to submit assignments is very basic. First, as you know, all of your weekly assignments are housed under the weekly assignments tab. So let's go ahead and click on your weekly assignments. And for the sake of this presentation, let's just go to unit two. And as you know, you have your to-do list, your reading assignments. And what you want to look for is the unit assignments. For the most part, not always, but for the most part, you'll find your assignments in this area. Now, as you notice, one of the ways that you can tell whether or not an assignment, you'll be able to actually attach your assignment to an assignment in Blackboard is that you need to look for this little logo right here, this little icon. You'll notice that it has a ruler, a pencil, and the piece of paper. That always means, always means that you can actually, you know, whatever assignment you were working on, whether it was a PowerPoint, whether it was an, uh, an essay, as in this case, or, or um, any kind of, let's see, a, a PDF file, you can actually upload it and get it to your instructor. When it uploads in Blackboard, What's going to happen, your instructor will see it immediately in the grade book, and then they'll grade it. And then you can go to My Grades, your My Grades button, and look for the assignment once it's graded. Keep in mind that when you're attaching an assignment, your teacher doesn't grade it automatically. That's not how it works. Your teacher will walk you through when the assignments are going to be accepted and when they're going to be graded. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the assignment. Notice that I'm coming right up here and I clicked on the title. It'll first tell you the possible points for the assignment and the breakdown. Always read the assignment information. Your teacher should clearly tell you when things are due, um, how they're supposed to be set up. The detailing should be there. If some detailing is not there, email the instructor. Notice this, it reads write submission. Please don't do that. It is always best to create your documents outside of Blackboard and simply browse your computer and attach it. So I'm going to browse my computer under my documents. Typically, that's where you would house things. And I'm going to click on LSC C videos. Let's say that was the assignment that I'm going to turn in. Okay. From there, all I did was clicked on it and it popped right in and you can see there is my link, okay? If it's the wrong one, I can click do not attach and load it again. I always tell students to put a little comment, as you can see in the comment window, to your instructor. Okay. There you go. And you simply hit submit. And once you hit submit, as I said, once you hit submit, it'll dump into your instructor's your instructor's um, grade book. Okay. And you won't be able to see it here. I'm gonna go into the grade center. This is what the grade center looks like. For an instructor, this is not an active class, so we won't be able to see it. But essentially, what's going to happen, let's say this is your name, your paper will just sit right out here. Your instructor can click on view grade details. They click on there and they can see your paper and grade your paper online and you'll be able to get it back online. So that's it. I hope that this brief tutorial has helped you and walked you through how to actually submit your work. Now go ahead and look at the next video that's right below this one because it will show you how to view your grades and feedback in Blackboard. Also there are tons and tons of videos on YouTube 
on Blackboard. So if there's something that we haven't covered in this course and you're kind of lost about something, just go out to YouTube and you can find it. Hope it's been helpful.